Hello guys. Let us continue on our journey of writing a web server in Rust. Let's start from where we left off. In today's video, we will learn how to respond a JSON object from our server. For this purpose, we will add a new dependency to our project. It is Serda. Serda is a framework for serializing and deserializing Rust data structures efficiently and generically. Only this time, we will add a dependency to our project manually by updating cargo.toml file. Without wasting any further time, let us open our cargo.toml file and add serde as a dependency with features derive. We will update our hello user function to return json object. For this, we will create a struct user. Rust structs or structures are user-defined data types used to store different types of data together. Suppose we want to store a person's name, age, and height. To do this, we can create variables for each property of field. This will hold users first name and last name. We should create an associated functions to access our struct. In Rust, we can do this by implementing our struct using impl keyword. So our user struct will have an associated function, new. And this new function will simply return self. Self in Rust describes the current module. Hence in our case the object of struct user. We are not yet done with our struct user. In order to convert our struct user to an JSON object, Rust needs to serialize our struct. Luckily, we have Serde. Serde comes with a procedural macro called serialize and deserialize. These are derived macros, meaning we can annotate our struct to derive serialize and impl responder from Actix Web will handle the rest. Now we will update our hello user function to return JSON. We will update our response variable with type user using the associate function new over the struct user. In the end, we need to return JSON object wrapping our response with status code OK within a tuple. Everything looks good. No errors. We should now test our project. Let's run our project using cargo run. and check the endpoints.
we can see our server is working as expected. That's it for today guys. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you and visit again.